right, today we're going to be taking a look at the Back to the Future Part 2 Ultimate Doc Brown, aka Doc Brown 2015. Right out of the gate, you can see the front package. We have the iconic imagery from the USA Today issue that was in the future that Marty saw and found out that his kid was going to jail. So he immediately had to, you know, course correct the future events and try to uh, rewrite history, so to speak. But this is the newest release from NECA Toys. This is just in time for the Father's Day and graduation, so the whole dads and grads thing. Just now hitting Target stores right now. Um, special shout out to Zohar Weisman for finding this for me. I personally haven't seen it at my local Targets, but he was nice enough to pick this up for me. Checking out this front cover, it is a spot on reproduction of that iconic issue. In fact, I have an actual commemorative USA Today copyright here that came out in October 22nd, 2015 as a, you know, tie in for Back to the Future Day, so to speak. But Hold them up side by side, everything, the print, the articles, everything is identical to one another. So if you're wondering how accurate NECA Toys was with their artwork here, it's 100% spot on. Box art is going to be in line with all the other Back to the Future releases we've got from NECA Toys. you got your image of the Back to the Future 2 logo, you got Ultimate Doc Brown, and then we got the tiny print down here. We got the dates for the most iconic part of the Back to the Future franchise. So, you know, you got your 1955 in the past, you got your 2015 in the future, and you got your way back when, 1885. And then we also have some glam shots of Doc here on the back, as well as the 35th anniversary collection, which, hello, bottom right-hand corner, we get this awesome call out because apparently we're getting a Griff Tannen figure, which obviously was a bit of a no-brainer, but it's good to see that we're getting one. It hasn't technically been officially announced by NECA Toys yet, but open the front of the box. We have another glam shot of Doc right here, looking startled in the alley. And then of course we have our open window box display of Doc, his various heads, accessories and everything. But let's go ahead and take this bad boy out of the package and check him out up close. All right, and here we have the man himself out of the box. And let's go ahead and just do a measurement. And he is just a hair over seven inches tall because yes, Doc Brown was a tall character. Let's look at the previous release, and he is, as you can see right here, perfectly on scale with the first Doc Brown NECA Toys release we got, and of course, next to Marty, he is much taller, and then he is a little bit shorter than Biff, so everything is in line scale-wise. Obviously, we have this amazing detail of his costume. It's very toyetic. Uh, 2015 future Doc Brown just has an awesome outfit, so we have the yellow trench coat. Nice layering to it. Nice textures all the way around. It is removable. It is not molded onto his body or anything like that. However, if you were to remove it, you would still be stuck with Doc with some yellow sleeves. So you would 100% have to repaint his sleeves if you wanted to remove the trench coat. Inside, we can see the nice details of his shirt with the kanji writing as well as the nice little hibiscus flowers, his clear tie, which is very 80s, but is also futuristic simultaneously. So that is a nice touch. It is molded and attached to the neck, so you can't remove the tie. And then he's got these, you know, grid pattern khaki pants on. He's got these green socks, the red boots, or excuse me, the black boots with the red laces and the futuristic antennas and things like that. And speaking of antenna, we have these two antennas on the back of his boots. Now, you'll want to keep in mind that you don't break these off when you're taking them out of the package because these are very small and very fragile, as well as when you're manipulating and articulating his foot. Um, if you bend his foot too far forward, you'll notice the antenna actually touches the back of his uh, calf and Achilles there, so you don't want to snap it off unnecessarily. Speaking of articulation, so his head's going to look down just a little bit, up decently and then spins all the way 360 degrees. You will get a little bit side to side so you can tilt his head left and right. Arms are gonna go up and out, 360 degree rotation at the shoulder. You're gonna have a single hinge at the elbow. Does rotate 360 degrees as well. The wrist is going to rotate. We do have two watches, so you got a black watch and a silver watch. These are actually not attached to his arms, so you can pop out the hands and take the Watches off completely, swap them around however you like. The wrist does swivel 360 degrees as well as have a horizontal hinge. He does have a little bit of a crunch in the midsection, so you can get him bending pretty decently far forward. However, backwards, it's not going to work too far just because the trench coat is going to hinder his movement going backwards. Does have ball joints in the legs, so you can get his legs to go pretty far wide. You can rotate the lower torso 360 degrees. Gonna be able to kick his leg 
that far forward. Not going to go very far back again because of the trench coat, but even with the trench coat out of the way, it just doesn't go very far backwards. We have a single bend at the knee. And then we have a boot cut down here. So you can get 360 degree rotation at the boot area. And then again, rock the foot forwards and backwards as well as side to side. But again, watch out for breaking those antennas off. You don't want to do that. And then we have our peg holes at the bottom of the feet. And just like our first iteration of the ultimate Doc Brown figure from NECA Toys, the head sculpt on this thing is nothing short of outstanding. I mean, it literally is just a spot on creation of Doc Brown. The glasses are molded onto his head, but he does have some interchangeable heads for different accessories. So we have a glassesless face here with a surprised, bewildered, just shocked expression on his face. And again, it just looks amazing. The details of this sculpt, just phenomenal job through and through. And then we also have a different head, but it's also the exact same head as this one, just minus the glasses, which is a nice touch. They could have, you know, shortcut it a little bit and just gave us interchangeable glasses here. But honestly, we would have probably lost the glasses. So I'm glad they gave us a different head, same expression, just without the glasses. And then we also have some interchangeable hands. So this one's a little more gripping, put something in his hand and another one. So we've got two open hands and two gripping hands. That is what we're getting for our interchangeable hand accessories. One of my favorite things though is of course, we get a little copy of the USA Today issue and props to NECA for their print quality on this thing. Obviously it's very small, it's almost three inches tall, but even with a magnifying glass, you can actually pretty well read this, which is outstanding because you know you would think something this small would just be illegible text, but nope. High quality print and allows you to actually read it if you wanted to. And then we have this nice little camera that Doc uses in the future great little device you know this is basically what our cell phones look like these days for the most part so props to them for you know predicting the future quite literally with this one and then the best accessory we have this emergency cast briefcase that doc carries around and it is amazing unfolds and lo and behold we have the different currencies that doc utilizes when he's going to and from the future and the past that way he can you know buy things without looking like he's counterfeiting everything. So this is an awesome accessory. The cash is all solid in there. There's not individual slips of paper or anything like that, but this is a phenomenal accessory and worth the price of admission, in my opinion, just for this, but outstanding figure overall, absolutely must have for any back to the future fans, NECA toy fans. You will absolutely love this. Can't wait to get the Griff Tannen. And of course the inevitable back to the future part three, Western figures that have yet to be announced or anything, but you know they're coming. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button, share this video with your friends if you found the information helpful. And as always, thanks for watching guys. It really means a lot.